Hi friends, uh, today we have Satish, who is one of our AI course enrolled students. Satish, thank you very much for taking the time to share your learning journey, also your experiences and your interview experiences in general. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, you and your Apply team, Play AI team, uh, for all the support and guidance. Uh, so without your support, I can't be in that level. So thank but you. I think you also put in a lot of effort, right? Which needs yeah. all the due credit. So yes, yeah, yeah. Actually, I have completed my graduation in the year 2016. Uh, then I got placed in FIS as a mainframe tester. So I started my career there in 2016. Uh, then uh, I'm a QC person, right? So I need to learn some programming language for automation purpose. So I decided to learn Python. So I enrolled in many online courses. Uh, through them, I got a good idea what Python is doing. Uh, so then one got, I got one opportunity in FIS uh, to create a tool. Because as a QC person, we need to take more snaps for the document purpose. So, so this was mostly just just for those people who don't know, QC yeah. is quality control, right? Quality control, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. So, so you're you are writing scripts for quality control automation. Yes, right. Got it. Got so it. we need to we need to save a lot of documentation purpose. We need to save a lot of screenshots. So that's a time consuming activity. So nearly we have 36 applications. Uh, so around only eight applications we need to take a snap in a weekly basis. So that a time consuming activity. So in order to reduce that effort, uh, I have created a tool called Snappies. So it will it will reduce the manual effort. So for the tool, I got a good content in Python. So to enhance my career, I need to learn some other things. So then I decided uh, machine learning. So then uh, I enrolled same as I Udemy. I enrolled many online courses, uh, but uh, that is not enough because they are not going depth. So as applied AI was. Uh, so I decided to join uh, in the applied AI. So uh, last May, May 2020, I joined the Update AI course, uh, kind of the last 15 month of our program I joined there. So it's a quite a good, uh, it's a good learning curve for me because I'm not a programmer. Uh, so because I'm a QC person, I'm not good in that much programming language. Even though I come from the computer background, I'm not good in that programming language. So uh, the Update AI gave me the full confidence how we need to approach the program, problem statement, everything they help me a lot. Cool. So, so, I, so roughly speaking, at FIS, uh, which works in financial and banking yeah, services, right. you work yes, for five years yeah. in quality control and some form of automation and testing and things yes. like that. Yes. And you work both as a software analyst as well as a senior analyst. Yes, right. And I yeah. believe uh, recently you transitioned your career into data science yeah. through a company called Strive, which was earlier called SPI Global. Again, this is a company that has been hiring from Applied Air Force, very good partner of ours. And I'm very happy that you joined Strive as a data scientist like a month ago. Yes. And as you just mentioned a while ago, you also have a lot of teammates. I believe three yes. teammates of yours who are also alumni of Applied AI course. Yes, so sir. very good to hear it. Again, congratulations because you got a pretty good hike of about 90% in terms of compensation. Yes. So all that I'm very, very happy about. So now Thanks. the next thing I wanted to understand was uh, what was your interview experience like at Strive? Uh, totally, I had four rounds. Uh, first one is appraising attitude round. Uh, second, the technical one, technical two, and third one is the fourth one is a management round. So, first round is aptitude is a kind of to test our analytical skills. Uh, so, I had a quantitative logical reasoning. So, many things there. So, one hour test, I did that. So, after that round cleared, I moved to second round. That is a full technical. Uh, first, they start with the basic Python programming, like uh, dictionary questions, how to swap the key and uh, values. It was a basic questions only. We need basic operations on dictionary. On dictionary, yeah. So like that, and how you handle the missing value in the dictionary. That the question looks very easy, but we need to think and answer that one. So, so they, they they expect the ex, uh, correct answer. So that's the key point there. Uh, so then they asked about uh, machine learning uh, models like a random forest. They asked me full in detail, including math also. So random forest and SPM. Uh, they asked me in full detail. Then I I mentioned right on. I have created on tool uh, in my resume. I updated that uh, snappies. So they asked me more about that. Uh, how you conquered, uh, so what are the things he's doing. So they give me the full depth, uh, I give the explanation around 30 minutes about the uh, tools. So in this tool that you built for quality control, yeah. apart from Python scripting, have you also used some machine learning and things like that? No, 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 it's a pure Python only. It's, it's a, a pure kind of, Python. Yeah, Python. Okay. Good to, uh, to, to manual effort, to reduce manual effort. That's a very good so, thing because yeah. that shows initiative from your end, that yeah. you're not just limited to quality control, you also yes. took the initiative to build something to automate some of the manual workload for your team, even yeah. if it is simple Python scripting, that yeah. shows a lot of initiative. Yes, right. right. Yeah. That's yeah. I reduce man manual effort more. So team appreciate that. So that gave me more confidence. So I'm quite good in Python. So we can move into next uh, enhancement process. So I decided that and joined the machine learning more rapidly. So uh, so the first interview was basically a mix of everything 
little bit of basics of python a little python. bit of mathematics yeah. behind random forests random SPM, SPM, yes, yeah. and also your project so it was a blend yes. of everything yeah that's a first round is a quite large one so it uh, took around one and a half hours so okay. Okay. so it's a quite long journey for that one. what about the next round so next round is purely our uh, case studies. Uh, so what are case studies we did? Uh, I did a good two case studies. One is related to machine learning. Another one is a deep learning. So they asked me to explain any one of the case studies like that they said. So recent, uh, during that time, I recently completed my blog writing for deep learning. So that is very easy for me to explain that uh, each and every parts. So I did an uh, object direction uh, as part of a deep learning project. Uh, so I they asked what are the models you used. So I trained a unit and a check state. So what are the difference uh, they asked me in detail. So they first they asked me to explain what is unit, uh, what is check state, uh, what is the difference between both. So, so they asked me in for, detail. for X-ray data, right? Because yes, yeah, right. is for Pneumothorax, X-ray. Yeah. X -ray. yeah. I, for my project is X-ray related. So I, the TextNet is gave me the good result. So why the TextNet is giving good result? Like that they asked something. So I, I compare I compared both unit and TextNet and give in detail. So they were pretty much satisfied in so that. So how much depth were they expecting in your answers? Did they want you to explain the nitty gritty details of the last? Yeah, function, yes, right. The architecture. the architecture, the architecture we needed to explain fully. Yeah. Very good. What unit is doing? What checknet is doing? They, are, they, they need the difference. Why why the unit is not performing that much? The checknet is doing that much. So they Very asked nice. me detail. Yeah. Then they asked me the two technical uh, kind of on the uh, later questions like a uh, problem solving statement, problem solving statement, like kind of uh, you have two features. Uh, that one feature is, uh, so suppose we have n number of features in that one feature having more missing value. Okay, uh, we have one more missing value, but this feature is uh, looks more important, but you can't uh, remove that one. How you handle this situation like that they asked. So, so some real-world application-oriented questions. Yeah, then I said, if I can find the correlation and using that, I will predict one column. Which column is correlated more? I can pick that column and using that column, I will predict the missing value. I will make that as a... Uh, so it's the basically model-based imputation that you recommended. Yes, yes, I recommend that one. So they are quite happy with that. And they asked uh, one more question, like, uh, suppose uh, you are... Uh, suppose a, a person is a Netflix... Uh, uh, subscriber the next we need to predict that person is going to subscribe next month or not so for that uh problem statement what are the data you need so like that they ask something so then you ask that suppose that is a man i will ask the family details uh, whether that person can have a child or the person's wife is housewife or a home housewife or working woman then last six month uh feedback about that uh, feedback and last six month uh uh, any issue they reported, like that those information I will collect from them and then we'll make the prediction like that I did. I said okay. uh, they are quite happy with that. Okay, this, this is more like, can you think of a business problem? Business I think problem, that, was, yeah. that was their yeah. expectation, cool. And what about the final round, which is a managerial round? Uh, that's a management round. They asked me to uh, ask me to show the code, how effectively I'm writing the code, that I need to check that. So I- Code for my, what? Uh, for your case studies? Case studies, yeah. Oh, your case study code. Yeah. Okay. They asked me to, uh, they, I just, I just know how to see the code, how you're writing. So they want to check the effect, how effectively you are writing the code. So they asked those information. Did you implement some of these unit and textnet architectures from no, scratch no, I, on your own? Yes. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. That, that always helps, right? Because you yeah. can say, I can write TensorFlow code from scratch without copy pasting from elsewhere. Yes. yes and right. I can actually implement the nitty-gritty details of a new architecture well. Yeah. The main thing is in my code, I have documents, uh, I didn't written the full documentation. So that is very easy for me to explain during that time because very suddenly easy. they asked me to share the screen. So I so due to the documentation, I can easily explain what the code is doing. So that also easy. shows your maturity because you're yeah. somebody with five years of experience, right? Yeah. For somebody with five years of experience, people expect you to think of real world problems yes. and also write code much more cleanly than a fresher. Yes, so right. that always helps. Very good. Yeah. Anything else in the management round or the manager? They ask me to show the demo uh, for your case study implementation. Uh, so during the time, uh, the case study is not working for me. So then I then, then uploaded my demo in the YouTube. So I showed them. They are convinced. Oh, you made a short video. Very yeah, good. short video in my YouTube channel. So I posted there. So that is very easy for me to show them. I implemented these uh, two case studies, two models. Did you also productionize your model on one of the cloud services? Oh, in AWS, I deployed okay. that one. Yeah. Ah, okay. That, that, that always helps so that you yeah, can showcase yeah. that. Yes. I can also, I've also deployed it. I know the basics of deployment. Yeah, yes, right. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very, very good, thing. Satish. Anything else in your interview experience that I probably have missed out? So mainly this one we have covered. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, so, the main thing is we need to be good in Max. So first, the first, pro, first round, they ask more about Max, the, how the Python programming is working, and how the machine model is uh, doing the back end. So all the things are they asking in ticket details. So we need to be quite good in Max of every model, what are you learning? Yeah, even so, in our previous experiences with Stripe, they focus a lot on math because they yeah, believe right. that students who are good there 
can yeah. learn new things very quickly. That's right. Yeah. So good, good. So what has been your learning strategy as someone who is coming from a software analyst type of role, writing Python scripts and building Python prototypes? What was your learning journey over the last year or so with Applied AI course? How did you manage your time as a senior software analyst? How did the whole learning process go? Actually, my work nature start uh, 10 to 7. So morning, morning I 10 used, to 7. 10 to 7, yeah. That's my working hour. Uh, so I used to spend two hours in the day and one hour in the night. And weekend, I used to spend five hours. So that's the strategy. Uh, the main thing is we need to make our own regularly. We need to make our own notes. That's only that will that will help us because we're seeing the video is not here going to help us. So we need to. You'll make forget our own it notes. after a few days. Yeah, a few days. Yeah. So we need to make a note and we need to revise regularly. That's a key point there. So we need to revise regularly in order to get uh, clear all the further topics. What about assignments? Did you face any difficulties yeah. there? Yeah, I faced the, the attention model is uh, quite tough for me. Uh, so it took a long day for me. I even That's though the okay. case studies, yeah. We make we intentionally ask students to implement attention from scratch because yeah. that way they'll understand what is yeah, how the backup is. Yes, right. That's exactly, Otherwise, yeah. everybody says, hey, I will use attention without knowing mm. what's happening under the hood. Yes, right. That's very good, very yeah. good. But apart from that, apart from it's certainly one of the hardest assignments. Apart from that, any other assignment you face? The case study is quite a challenging for me uh, both case two, two case studies i did right so both challenging for me i learned a lot so only i can easily able to clear the second round so good. then blog writing also is very helpful me a lot because the two blog writing we can understand each line what are you are writing in the code so that helps you to understand and you clearly you can able to explain them or what their uh, model is doing very so good that helped very me good. Lot. yeah again uh, assignments and case studies are certainly a learning journey which helps yeah, that's students true. immensely in their actual interviews we've seen this being told by many students and whenever a student gets stuck in assignment, we say, don't worry, this yeah. is part of your learning journey. Yes, right. Very including good. including the optional assignment also is mandatory for me. Oh, so you did all the optional assignments? Yeah, option, yes, yeah. Very good. So very good. Python is optional assignment, right? So using that only, you can able to explain the dictionary concepts. Right, right, so, right, yeah, right. That's a point. Including my optional assignment also is a main thing for us. Yeah. Very good, very good. So any suggestions you can give for people very similar to you with software engineering or um, similar experiences like you, like a senior software analyst with about five years experience, what suggestions will you give both to students at Applied AI course and outside on how they can transition their careers into data science? The yeah, thing is, uh, we need to be clear what we are doing. And that's the main thing. Uh, so we need to be very focused. Uh, so suppose we are need to get a transition, we need to give a full effort and time. So that's a key point there. Uh, so we can achieve easily. So time and effort is the main point. We need to be co more consistent. Very good. So that's very a key good. point, yeah. I mean, that, that's certainly very, very important. Yeah. However smart you are, yeah. if you're not putting the effort, you will not succeed in it. Sure. Anything else that you wanted to add that I may have forgotten in the last few minutes? Uh, before uh, entering the interview, be strong in basics. So we can easily explain a, a huge concept. What do you mean by basics here? Basically, the dictionary, dictionary list uh, and the for loop and how, how I you writing the for loop. So the basic coding, of, basically. Basic coding, base, yeah. Then data structures also is more important. How the program is so basic data structures like lists, dictionaries, which are already inbuilt sets and yeah, other things. Right. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Because we need to write the code, the time complexity should be less. So that is the main thing they are expecting. Okay. So writing code is quite easy, but we need to write effective code. That's a key concept. Very good, very good, yeah. very good point. Very good. Again, yeah. coding is certainly very, very important, yeah. especially if you're coming from some coding or scripting background. People expect yeah. you to write much cleaner code, Clean much more code, efficient yeah. code. Then somebody yeah. who comes from a non-CS or a non-IT background. That's yeah, very that's true. That's the key point, yeah. yeah. Very good, Satish. Thank you very much Thank for you. taking the time. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank you. I'm sure this, uh, this interaction and the points that you mentioned will help a lot of students who have very similar experiences as you. Thank you very yeah, much. Sure, sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All the best for all. Thank you.